But then we tend to review or evaluate other people's actions based solely on their actions. And we don't sometimes consider their intentions. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Olajumoke. A very warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. I'm very happy to have you as part of my small but growing family here on YouTube. So I'm on my way out for a meeting with a colleague I haven't seen in over 14 years. We used to work together a very long time ago and I just very much look forward to catching up with him and just walking down memory lane and building some more memories in the future. So I was actually going to complete a video on a completely different subject but I feel like this topic has sort of been on my mind for a while and it's a process that I myself am going through at the moment and it's the element or the subject of letting go of things so you can embrace the new and embrace what the future has for you. Now I'm sure that every single one of us who's watching this video has at some point or the other been hurt by perhaps our loved ones, our friends, our families, perhaps our communities, your church, your organization, whatever it is, your school, your institution, etc. And sometimes it's extremely difficult to let go of past hurts, past negative emotions or past experiences. But what I'm starting to understand is that those experiences, those emotions that we're carrying with us are actually sometimes very burdensome. And in order to embrace the future, we have to let go of the past because the past sort of distracts you from what is in front of you, from opportunities, from new relationships. That lack of trust that you may have formed as a result of being hurt in the past or as a result of having your trust broken by someone else, it really sort of acts as a barrier, as a hindrance to what is potentially, you know, a great new relationship, a great new partnership. So I myself am embarking on a new journey, on several new journeys actually. But what I've come to realize is that I am still carrying some of the weight from the past. So those things are still weighing on me to a certain degree and they are breaking down my sense of self. And although I've been on a journey to really let go of those things, I find that every now and then they rear their ugly heads and they feel like they are chipping away at my total concentration in what the future has for me. And I have learned uh, from trying to make myself a better person, trying to ensure that my future is not affected by my past, I have learned that it's very, very important to let go of dead weight in order to move forward. An example is this. So if I have these two elements in my hands, they cover the entire surface area of my hands, and someone is about to gift me something very special. Well, I have to let go of one of these elements in order to have a free hand to collect what's been given to me. And I liken it to, you know, our future and our past. So these heavy weights might be your past. It's time to really let go of them. It's a gradual process. Let go of the past so you can embrace, so you have enough surface area or enough resources or capacity really to accept what the future and the present has for you. Now that in itself can be such a challenge. And this is where I think it's very important to have a healthy community around you. Be part of a group, um, of like-minded individuals, you know, whatever it is that helps you get through those difficult moments in life, I think it's very important to be plugged into those resources at this time. So if you are perhaps going through a journey of forgiveness, a journey of letting go of hurts and past pain, I know that it's very difficult and it will probably take a longer time. It's not something that happens overnight, but I think that if you open yourself up to at least being in a mindset where you can start letting go of these things, start letting go of these um, past hurts and pains, I think that's definitely a step in the right direction. For me, what's helped is consistent prayer, consistent conversations with my mentors or those I trust. And it really is opening me up. It's opening my heart up. And this is really helping towards freeing my mind, freeing my spirit of dead weight, as I call it, um, and helping me embrace what the future and the present holds. You know, life is so beautiful, life is so precious, and life is short. And so I started asking myself, you know, when I'm 70, when I'm 80, what sort of memories do I want to have? What sort of things do I want to be hanging on to? And this really has been a great input in terms of helping me get over, you know, past hurts. 
And really, I think that, you know, when you are in that phase or that stage in your life, those things become very trivial. You may not necessarily be thinking about those who hurt you in your teens or your 20s or your 30s. Those memories will be long gone, hopefully, and you will focus on things that actually make a difference to your life, things that actually matter. People will hurt you in the future. The same person that you've forgiven 10 days ago is most likely going to hurt you in the future, especially if these are people that are very significant in your life, your partner, your family members, your best friend, etc. It doesn't mean that hurt will go away, but I think that letting go of the past and having a spirit of forgiveness helps you train yourself emotionally to let go of things quickly, let go of hurt quickly. I was actually listening to a great podcast, brilliant podcast, which was making reference to how actions might not be the same as intentions. So as individuals, we tend to evaluate our actions based on our intent. So I didn't intend to hurt you, even though I did. But then we tend to review or evaluate other people's actions based solely on their actions. And we don't sometimes consider their intentions. And I started to imbibe this in my day-to-day -day living. So if someone says something that is perhaps hurtful, I take a step back and I think, well, are they trying to hurt me? Or is that just a, a throwaway comment? Should they know better, for example? And it's really helping me become more patient. It's really helping me become more understanding of others around me. So that's one method that I would invite you to try. Try thinking about people's intentions, perhaps away from their actions sometimes. There, of course, will be people who don't mean well and act accordingly. I think over time, you start to realize the difference between the two classes of individuals, those who don't mean to hurt you, but might end up doing so, and those who actually mean to hurt you and do so. And I think there is a strength that comes from the realization of what those two classes of individuals are. And once you start to build that strength, you start to have the courage and the capacity to say no to that group of people that just want to hurt you for no reason. And you also start building a self-defense mechanism to ensure that those people don't have the same real estate that they used to have in your life, perhaps, or, you know, they just don't affect you mentally. So you start to sort of clear your intimate zone of those people. You start to get rid of people like that because frankly, they don't add value to you. So I really hope this video has helped someone out there who is perhaps struggling with forgiveness and past hurts. You are not alone. I do pray that your heart softens towards that situation or that individual and you start to see the beauty that is embedded within forgiveness and you start on a healing journey as soon as possible. So that is it for this video. I do hope it has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell if you aren't already subscribed so you don't miss any of my new videos. Until next time, have a blessed week. Bye for now.